So you're thinking about moving to Sarita, Arizona, and you want to know the good, the bad, and everything in between. Well, in this video, we're going to take you through the pros and cons of living in Sarita, Arizona. And if you stick around till the end, we'll show you one of the added benefits of living in Sarita, Arizona. Let's get to it. So if you're new to this channel and you want to learn everything from A to Z about living in Tucson AZ, then click subscribe and tap that bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market in Tucson, Arizona. Hi, I'm Dustin and my wife and I, Jennifer, have helped hundreds of people just like you move to and from Tucson, Arizona. So whether you're moving in 12 days, 12 weeks, or 12 months, give us a call or shoot us a text and email so we can help you make a smooth move to Tucson, Arizona. So as I mentioned in this video, we're gonna take you through the good, the bad, and everything in between about living in Sarita, Arizona. But before we get started, let's talk a little bit about what makes Sarita so special. Sarita is about 25 minutes away from downtown Tucson. The main highway in is I-19, and we're bordered by Green Valley to the west and Corona de Tucson to the east. If you travel 35 minutes to the south, you'll get to the Mexican border at Nogales, Arizona. A lot of our friends and clients that decide to move out to Sarita, Arizona do so because they feel it gives them some things that the city of Tucson just doesn't. So out here, you can get a little bit more home for your money. And we're also in close proximity to some of Southern Arizona's largest employers, including Raytheon, Asarco, and Border Patrol. All right, so let's get into our pros and cons. The first pro I wanted to bring up is the sense of community out here. If you talk to anybody from Sarita, they're going to tell you everything good that the community has to offer. They're gonna mention Lake Sarita. They're gonna talk about upcoming community events. They're gonna talk about how well they get along with their neighbors and how everyone looks out for each other. They're probably also gonna tell you about the schools out here. The schools are rated above average for Arizona. Jennifer and I personally have been told by several people that the schools are very inclusive of children with disabilities. And we have some people that actually move out this way just for that reason. Pro number two. The second pro I wanted to bring up is that there is no lack of outdoor activities. If you're here within the community, we have Sarita Lake. It's a great spot to go fishing or to go float out and do a little bit of rowing. So it is a catch and eat lake. You can catch the fish, take them home and have them for dinner. If you want to do a little bit more in-depth nature exploring, you're not too far away from Madera Canyon. It's a great spot to view wildlife, to do bird watching. And if you really like hiking, you can go to Mount Wrightson. If you get to the top there, 360 degree views of Southern Arizona, absolutely gorgeous. Pro number three, more home for your money. A lot of people we know that end up looking in Sarita do so because they find that you can get a little bit more home for your money. The current median sales price of homes out in Sarita is just under $345,000. So when you take that into account, along with everything that the community has to offer, Sarita, Arizona is one of Southern Arizona's most appealing communities to move to. All right, time to get started on the cons. So con number one that I have is that there are fewer shopping options and restaurant options out in Sarita. So luckily we are close enough to South Tucson and Green Valley that have plenty of great restaurant options. So even if you can't find something here in the area, you can always pack up and take a short drive to one of those areas to find some of Southern Arizona's best dining and shopping options. But if you do want to eat in the area, we do recommend El Patio. It is a fantastic Mexican restaurant with great reviews. All right, so con number two, speaking of packing up and headed out to go places, if you do have to head out, we mentioned that we're about 25 minutes from downtown Tucson over here. Well, the main route over there being I-19, and it just seems like I-19 is always under construction. So sometimes you may plan on that being a 25 minute drive, but if there's an accident or the construction is slowing things down, you could find another 10 to 15 or even 20 minutes tacked on to that adventure. All right, con number three. One of the things we often hear people talk about is the lack of grocery store options out here. On the plus side of that though, the Fry's grocery store that they have out here is huge. I'd say it's at least three times the size of almost any other grocery store you'll see in the Tucson area. Uh, the Walmart out here is also quite large. 
And beyond those, Sarita has some great farmer's markets. So I actually have a friend that travels from Vail out here for the farmer's markets. And he only goes to the grocery store a couple times a year because those markets provide almost everything he needs to provide his family groceries for the week. All right, so thank you guys for sticking around this long. And as promised, I wanted to share with you something that makes Sarita even that much more special. And that is gonna be the event center at the Desert Diamond Casino. So the event center hosts all sorts of concerts, theater, and comedy shows. So there's almost always something going on out there. You don't just have to be an outdoor person to live in the Sarita area. You're gonna be able to find lots of indoor stuff. You can also visit the Titan Missile Museum if you wanna get some time out of the heat out here. And we also have all these uh, park spaces just throughout. So lots of outdoor walking, hiking, running, jogging, whatever you wanna do just to get out there and get fresh air. As always, if you or someone you know is thinking about moving to Tucson, Arizona, give us a call, shoot us a text or an email. Our contact information is in the description below. And if you like this video and you wanna see more, be sure to click subscribe and tap that bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market in Tucson, Arizona. See you on the next video.